Sandy was, I think, a real wake-up call, and it also reminded us how much we love the shore. What we love about the shore is the things that we grew up with, the boardwalk, the communities. After Sandy, we realized nature is a powerful force, and I think we need to think, and all the communities along the shore are trying to think, can they rebuild tomorrow the way they rebuilt in the past? It is absolutely paramount that we all work to create a more climate resistant coast. As things change, as storms increase with frequency, um, as sea level rises, we really have to think about our towns and our coasts and say, what is important to us? How can we live within these confines? We have a marine scientist, his name is Jim Nichols, who works directly with the communities on developing an early stormwater management system. We did a lot of work with five communities setting up a flood warning system. If they can know about where these um, high water marks wind up, it gives them a better chance for their emergency management people to figure out what streets are going to flood first, when they have to get people out, or at what point um, a street may not be available to use. Because it won't take much of a rise in sea level to cause most of these coastal communities a major problem. We look at everything from their laws to their plans that they've already created, and we try to help them find an ensemble of tactics that can really help ensure that they have the capacity and the ability to bounce back after a disaster. The Urban Coast has been here since 2005. We developed our programs to address problems that we've heard about from the communities. We have to worry about storms that might impact our homes and create destruction. But also, day to day, we need to think about things we throw on the sidewalk, things that we actually throw out of our cars that wash into our waterways. We try to help empower communities, and we really want them to find ways to make their communities more resilient. All the communities are facing big questions and challenges about how do we retain everything we love about the Jersey Shore, but also make sure that we're planning for the future.